So we had another local interest story to share with you, though. And this is a this just happened last week. This is an alleged Antifa member showed up at a rally last week on January 6th and then was apprehended by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department. And uh, the reason they apprehended him or stopped him was because he was dressed as one of these Antifa black block members wearing all black with the helmet and the face covering and everything else. And he was acting very suspiciously at this uh, rally outside the Pinellas County Courthouse. And so when we take a look at what he had in his possession and then what was at his parents' home where he lived in Oldsmar, and we'll tell you about that on the other side of the break, uh, it's, it's really a little bit scary, I'll tell you. This is a 22-year-old kid, uh, and he was ready to commit mass violence against people uh, just for expressing their political opinions, and that's what Antifa's all about. We'll tell you more on that on the other side of the break. Here we are back on the Morgan Streetman Show. Hope your year is off to a great start. Pat George isn't with us today. We've got Slick in studio. If you want to be part of the call, part of the show, give us a call, 888-404-1010. Yeah, we're just telling you about this guy that was arrested just last week at a rally at the Pinellas County Courthouse. And the rally was protesting the treatment of people who've been imprisoned after that January 6th protest in Washington, D.C., and this guy showed up at the rally. His name is Garrett James Smith. He's 22 years old. He shows up at the rally with an active pipe bomb. Now, he was behaving so suspiciously that he got busted by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. And they actually uh, then went over to this gentleman's parents' residence. I guess, I guess I shouldn't use the term gentleman, really. But this kid's parents' residence in Oldsmar, Florida, and uh, searched that where they found more explosives, tape, and nails for use in grenades. Now, he also he also had a direct action checklist, and that's what I thought was so interesting about this story, is he's got a checklist. Sheriff Bob Gualteri put it up on uh, a pedestal for the news conference, and you look at this, and it says direct action checklist, D-A-C-K, and it's got a picture of an umbrella on it, and then he's got clothing, and it's got all kinds of, he's basically got a bullet point list. Black long sleeve T-shirt, black cargo pants, black shoes or boots, black hoodie or hooded jacket, black uh, heat proof shoes. It keeps going on and on. And he's got armor and then he's got gear and it's this whole list. And it's pretty clear, by the way, this guy just returned from Portland, Oregon, this group Antifa that supposedly doesn't even exist. Uh, he just returned from Portland with this list, and it looks to me like a list that he was copying down from somewhere or that somebody else gave him because it's got on there references to things like tips. So under clothing, it has tips, no logos, armor, tips, pick a helmet with the roll case, gear, tips, keep gear concealed, keep in backpack. So he's got all these tips on there on his direct action Checklist, and it sure does look like somebody else gave him this checklist to copy down. Now, it was plain that he was going to commit uh, some additional violence, and he even uh, had uh, some Antifa logos on some of his gear and some of his clothing. So, this is a guy, so this Antifa group that supposedly doesn't even exist somehow is training people who go to Portland and come back to the Tampa Bay area to commit violence. Thankfully, uh, he's currently in. Uh, jail, and even though he doesn't have a prior criminal history, his bail's been set at over three hundred thousand, which I think is a very good thing to protect the citizens of the Tampa Bay area. So, a couple things, because uh, I, I found the story as well this morning. It's it's pretty wild. So, when they found him, he was all dressed like normal Antifa protesters, all black, all carrying face mask covered up, so you couldn't pick him out when they found him. But when I saw your picture when you gave me your show prep. This whole picture looks like something out of like military training. I've seen this before when we do a lot of our briefings and stuff in the army, and this looks like it. So that scares me that there's probably some guys in there that have you know former army uh, or just military general training, and it's kind of wild to think about that. Yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah, coming back here to the Bay Area. Thank you for listening to the Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard, and if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.